Good morning, Year Ones. It's Marvellous Monday. We're going to continue our learning about multiplication this week. And today we're going to be able to understand that doubling is creating an identical number to the one you started with. And that doubling is the same as saying two groups of the same amount. Now I want you to have a conversation with your learning partner, first of all, to think about and talk about what you know about doubling. And what would happen if we doubled a number? Will the number get bigger or smaller? How do you know? Pause the video and have a chat. Now on the board, you can see I've got six orange counters. I'm going to double the amount of counters on the board. And I want you to talk to your partner about what happens. Are you ready? So I started with six counters in my first row. And because that was my start number, I've created another lot of six counters. I started with six. I've created another six. How many counters do I have altogether? That's right, 12 counters. So I've doubled the number six, and we can say that double six is 12. Now have a look at the image you can see. Sam is holding a picture, and his picture has two houses. What would happen to the amount of houses there are if we doubled it? So he started with two houses. We want to double the amount of houses. How many would he end up with? Pause the video and talk to your partner. Now, if you remember, we said when you double something, it means to make an exact copy of something. A bit like when you put something through the photocopier. Let's see if you came up with this answer. Four houses. Sam started with two houses. He's creating exactly the same number again. And for this one, the same picture, two more houses. We have four houses altogether. So we can say that double two equals four. Now have a look at the strawberries that have been arranged on a tens frame. What do you notice about the amount of strawberries that are there? How do you know there's that many? Stop the video and talk to your partner about what would happen if we doubled the amount of strawberries you can see here. How many strawberries would there be altogether? You might want to draw a tense frame or make it out of pasta or Lego in front of you. Have a go. Now watch carefully because I'm going to double the amount of strawberries. Now before I do that, I'm just going to write down that at the beginning I had five strawberries. So if I'm going to double that, I need to make another five. And I'm going to use my tens frame. Are you ready? So I had five strawberries at the beginning. I've created another five strawberries. How many do I have altogether? We can see clearly because the tens frame is full up, we now have 10 strawberries. We can say double five is 10. And I've recorded it as an addition sentence. Five strawberries in my first group. Add another five strawberries in my second group gives me 10 strawberries altogether. One more practice before our journal. Here we've got a picture of a beanstalk, I guess from Jack and the Beanstalk. And that beanstalk measures four cubes high. What would happen then if we doubled the height of the beanstalk? How many blocks tall would it be? Stop the video and talk to your partner. Let's see how many of you got it right. Are you ready? There we are. We can see that the original beanstalk was four blocks high. And when we double the height of our beanstalk, so we add another four blocks onto our beanstalk, we now have 
8 altogether. So we can say that double 4 is 8. Two equal groups of 4 equals 8. Now for your journal entry today, I want you to write a sentence to remind yourself what doubling is. I then want you to have a look at the two pictures I've created. Some, I've got a set of a group of apples and a group of cakes. Can you draw an image to show what double those numbers are? The journal sheet is included on the website if you wish to print it out. Now it's time for the fun bit again. For this, you will need a dice and some counters of some sort and a partner. Roll the dice. Show your partner the correct number of counters according to your dice. So, for example, if you rolled a three, you're going to show them three counters. I want your partner to show you what double that number is. So they're going to make another set of three because that's what you rolled. And hopefully they'll say double three is six because altogether you have six. Take turns to repeat one and two, making sure that you keep saying those sentences out loud about what you can see. And here's your guided practice to talk through with your partner. You've got tens frames with some fruit in. And in question one, I can see there are seven kiwi fruits. We want to know what is double seven. And remember, when we say double seven equals something sevens, it means two lots of seven. And then how many kiwi fruit would there be altogether? The same for the tomatoes. Double four equals mm, fours. What does double mean? And how many tomatoes are there altogether? And the third one without a picture, so you might want to make it using some equipment. What is double eight? Here's your independent learning for today. Again, these sheets are available on the website if you want to print them out. If not, you can just write it in your book. Question one, can you write the missing numbers? Use the pictures carefully to help you. And question two, answer each of the following questions. Draw a picture to help you. Now, for those of you who want to be challenge a little bit further to push you a little bit more in your learning about doubles see if you can have a go at extra challenge one can you circle the rep representations which have been doubled so look carefully and make sure that the second picture in each challenge is double the amount of the the number you were given challenge two can you complete and continue the table now here we've got four different ways of writing the same thing. If we built the first question, we can see we've got a double one. We've got one group of one and a second group of one. That's represented in a tens frame with the blue and the red counter. The red counter being the original number, the blue counter being double that number. It's been written as an addition sentence. 1 add 1 is 2 because you're adding the same number together twice to give you two counters. And then as a sentence that you can practice saying out loud, double 1 is 2. Can you complete the rest of the sentence? Challenge 3 is a tricky one. Here we go. Louise doubles her donuts. The picture shows what she had after she doubled her donuts. Whitney thinks that Louise started with four and ended up with eight donuts. Eva thinks Louise started with eight donuts and ended up with 16 donuts. And Mo thinks Louise started with two donuts and ended up with four donuts. Who do you agree with? Can you explain why? Again, for this challenge, you might want to use some counters or bits of Lego or bits of pasta so you can explore and manipulate it and move it around to help you. And the last extra challenge today, can you complete the table by doubling each number? Now that's the easy bit because the harder bit is thinking about what patterns you notice. 
Can you talk about the patterns you notice? Can you explain what patterns you notice and why you think they might happen? Look carefully at the patterns between what double two is and double four and double eight. What about double five and double ten? Is there any pattern there? Any connection? See if you can explain what it is. That's it for today. I'll see you on Wednesday. Have a lovely day.